Wings are airfoils that, when moved rapidly through the air, create lift. They are built in many shapes and sizes. Wing design can vary to provide certain desirable flight characteristics. Control at various operating speeds, the amount of lift generated, balance, and stability all change as the shape of the wing is altered. Both the leading edge and the trailing edge of the wing may be straight or curved, or one edge may be straight and the other curved. One or both edges may be tapered so that the wing is narrower at the tip than at the root where it joins the fuselage. The wing tip may be square, rounded, or even pointed. This is a basic and easy to produce type of aircraft wing that sticks out from an airplane frame at a right angle. It is a non-tapered, straight wing that is mostly used in small aircraft. Rectangular wings are aerodynamically ineffective, and airplane manufacturers do not fit them on airplanes anymore. A modified rectangular wing where the wing's cord varies continuously across the wing span, with a change in the depth of the airfoil. The straight tapered wing type of aircraft wing is more aerodynamically efficient than a rectangular wing because the decrease in the cord length across the wing reduces drag at high speeds providing extra lift. The elliptical wing is one of the most aerodynamically efficient types of aircraft wings. Its leading and trailing edges consist of two equal parts of an ellipse providing elliptical spanwise lift distribution across the wings to create the lowest drag forces possible during the flight. A low aspect ratio wing suitable for supersonic and high speed subsonic aircraft. This type of wing offers a large area for the shape thereby improving maneuverability and reducing wing loading. There are several variants of the delta wing offering better flight and handling characteristics. Double delta is also known as compound delta or cranked arrow. The leading edge is not straight. Typically the inboard section has increased sweep back, creating a controlled high lift vortex without the need for a foreplane. The canard delta is used on many modern fighter aircraft with a combination of canard foreplanes and a delta wing. This configuration includes a conventional tailplane for improved handling characteristics, offering the main delta wing optimum lift capabilities. Oki Delta is also known as Ogival Delta, it is similar to a compound delta but with a smooth leading edge curvature merging into a cropped wing tip. Tailless Delta is a delta wing configuration that uses the movement of the wing's trailing edge to control the angle of attack. In a swept back wing design, the wing tips are angled sharply backward from the mounting base. This wing type reduces drag at transonic speeds and provides aerodynamic efficiency. A forward swept wing is an aircraft wing configuration in which the quarter cord line of the wing has a forward sweep. Typically, the leading edge also sweeps forward. Forward swept wing design offers a high degree of maneuverability during subsonic flights with a higher lift to drag ratio. A variable sweep wing also known as swing wing, is an aircraft wing, or set of wings that may be swept back and then returned to its original straight position during flight. This wing configuration provides efficient aerodynamic performance during supersonic flight. The wings of an aircraft can be attached to the fuselage at the top, mid-fuselage, or at the bottom. They may extend perpendicular to the horizontal plane of the fuselage or can angle up or down slightly. This angle is known as the wing dihedral. The dihedral angle affects the lateral stability of the aircraft. The low wing configuration is the most common type of wing seen on general aviation and light commercial aircraft. The wing is mounted near or below the bottom of the fuselage. The midwing configuration is one of the most popular designs among the different types of aircraft wings for small general aviation aircraft. The wing is mounted approximately halfway up the fuselage. The high wing configuration is the most common type of wing found on general aviation aircraft. The wing is mounted on the upper fuselage. 
A parasol wing is not directly attached to the fuselage but is held above it, supported by either cabin struts or a pylon. Additional bracing may be provided by struts or wires extending from the fuselage sides. The dihedral wing configuration is an aircraft wing with a slight upward angle. Dihedral wings increase the lateral stability of the aircraft. Anhedral is the opposite of dihedral. This means that the tips of the wings are lower than the root or base of the wing. The gull wing is an aircraft wing configuration, known also as Pulaski wings, with a prominent bend in the wing intersection towards the wing root. Inverted gull wing aircraft have a wing configuration in which the inboard wing section is set at an anhedral angle, the outer end is lower than the wing root, and the outboard section is set at a dihedral angle with the outer end higher than the inner end. Thanks for watching.